Hello and welcome back to EU4 and yes we are in the let's decrease aggressive expansion phase still a bit. Uh, now we are transitioning over to the we want to attack again phase. Um, all right, I can't do this one because I don't have a province, but it's going to be able to do it. So we can only get one claim so far, but that's fine. <clears throat> now we are going to have to keep a close lookout or Switzerland because if we can attack them we will now let's see Venice is still in coalition land they can still coalition us if they want to but the next year they can't Let's, I do want to integrate my, okay, my diplomat died. Uh, let's pick up the next one. Let's decrease the rebels a bit. And yeah, at this point we are just... Mm, yeah, sure. Let's take the money. Uh, I should do this to get that. This will help me earn more money. Yep, yeah, we we do now have fifty four percent of the Venice node now. <clears throat> Venice is, is usually the nation who has the most trade power. Like kicking Venice down to not be the one who has the most trade power in the Venetian trade node. Uh, that's hard and takes a lot of time, but we have finally done it. We have integrated one of our vassals. Let's see what boats did you have. You had a few boats, which... There we go. Uh, yeah. We should... It's this one, right? Yeah. Doesn't really matter, I think. Should do like these. Then I can take the money and it's fine. Uh, here I'm going to take the manpower, to be honest. Yeah, let's do that. And we can get this minus to unrest national unrest that means we have a very low chance of getting rebels at this point uh, yes let's pay the money let's see here yeah we don't have we do not have um, any problems when it comes to um, when it comes to force limit so but I do not want the horses so we are going to rip them off the units there and delete them um, now 30 Six is not a good combat with. Uh, 
but for now I think we are just going to keep on drilling. We should improve the relations with Siena and start the annexation of them. Let's take a look. Nope. They will defend them. They have bounced back to be defending those. Now, uh, no. I don't want. Not yet, at least, piss off the Papal State, because the Papal State is allied to France and Portugal and Cologne, and Cologne happens to be a very big nation, in, um, and they are even a nation with a port. How that happened, I have no idea. But anyway. Who are you fighting? Uh, okay. It's stuff. But it's not stuff over here in Europe. It's in South America. Uh, now, let's see. Maybe I should. Yeah, I should. Remove that and pick something else. I think I should probably pick up... Um, morale, maybe? Or discipline, maybe? Hmm. Now let's take the morale. Having a lot of morale is good, so it's not a bad thing to keep. Or, like, focus on. It's actually quite good. Now, we are going to move our galleys over here. And we are going to spend uh, a bunch of money. I um, do want 10 transports. And I do want the rest as galleys. There we go. Now, that's going to take a while, so... Since we don't have that many ports, it's going to take quite a while until we have enough um, or rather it's going to take a while until they are built because we don't have enough provinces to like spread out the build order. Uh, should we do that on Corsica? Yeah, we probably should. Building manufacturers is the best, like, way to spend your money because you get the most back from it. Uh, I'm not sure how we are going to do this. Uh, should we? Should we be so naughty that we um, attack Venice, vassalize Savoy, maybe take a province from 
Venice, but mostly just vassalize Savoy to have a return core. Since we don't have as many vassals anymore. Maybe we should. Let's just take a peek here. Yeah, they would join. I could co belligerent them if I wanted to, but I don't think I want to. I can't remember how it is with independent. Like independence guaranteed if like if I co belligerent them they get called in. I can't remember. Because if they do get called in I don't want to co belligerent them, but if they don't get called in I do want to co belligerent them. But We'll see what we get here. I might sit on this a bit more. Uh, it is a grand strategy, so rushing is not a good thing to do. Now, I have been... Having a bit of of an unlucky streak when it comes to uh, a few things. Some of them where I've shot myself in the foot by not declaring fast enough or like stuff like that. But like there's been so many things which have just screwed us over where like an alliance is made like a month before we at attack and there were no way of attacking quicker really <laughs> now attacking France is not a possibility because if we look in the ledger France has 58,000 troops 72,000 manpower and um, on top of on top of that they are France so they are strong and annoying and Francy and baguette and uh, froggy all over the place like yeah it's not necessarily um, going to end well if we fight France just to put it like that they are like France is a lucky nation so they get good generals and all that like cheaty stuff um, and since I haven't turned lucky nations off uh, which I do have to like, have only myself to blame for that that so but probably what i need to do is to um is to um wait a bit find an alliance of some kind and do it now yeah let's see here we are going to annex Sienna we are going to do that it's going to take a while because um we have uh, we have minus uh, minus three in annexed subjects when it comes to diplomatic reputation, so it's going to take a bit longer, but that's fine. As long as we start now, it doesn't matter how low their opinion gets. You have to have 190 for it to start, so 
Yeah, but finally we are going to have a good enough navy. Let's take a look. Austrian opinion about Switzerland. Okay, it's decreasing and decreasing. That's good. It would be nice if, like, Switzerland just... ...stopped... Uh, ...liking. Savoy has... Yeah. And since it Piedemont... Savoy will have... You know what? You know what? I could probably vassalize uh, Savoy peacefully if he didn't have this core. Let's take a look. Like trust, yes, but I can get that back, that's fine. Uh, if he didn't have a core, that's irrelevant. Uh, yeah, I could probably do it. But I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm not sure. He's guaranteed by Papal State and Switzerland. And since France is allied with uh, Papal State, France can't attack Savoy. Uh, just like that, they might do it anyway, but it's going to take a while. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Yeah, we are boxed in, like, extremely boxed in. I'm not sure how to do this, to be honest. Like, I can't go north because of the Empire. And Austria has been the Emperor the whole freaking time, and he's still the Emperor. Now, once the League War starts, it might change, but we'll see. I'm not sure I'm going to be part of it. We're going to have to see, wait and see about that. Let's, let's just let time pass. Um... You are grumpy, okay? This one. Charge infantry. We are coming up to the 1600s and it probably will be um prob probably will be um around the time that it starts being annoying to do stuff or when start stuff starts happening so we can actually like invade and do other things we might actually just sit outside of the whole league war and try to attack during it uh let's see what are we earning okay good enough to do this you're level two. Now, it, as I said, it's going to take a while until... Okay, the burgers. I'm going to pay them off. Uh, I can't, like, force them to give me money or anything, so... 
fine. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do here. Like, our vassals like us. They are absolutely fine. Whoops. We are going to need to spend a bit of, bit, a bit of Diplo. Let's do it in this, at this point. Yes, I'm going to spend a lot, but I will have to wait for the expense of the tech to go away a bit. Since I can't get innovativeness from it, um, there's no point in paying extra. There's only a point in paying extra if you can get uh, the innovativeness. Oh, hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. you're free. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Bohemia is free. Most likely because of rebels, but yeah, and Bohemia is a nasty beast. Bohemia is a very nasty beast. He has... Yeah, he's on the level of like... France and... But if you take a look... Oops. If you take a look at uh, Ottomans... 200,000 troops, basically. 196k. It's insane. And they don't haven't even attacked Mamluks because for some reason they haven't desired the land enough. Yeah, sure, Mamluks have a bit of troops, but you have like three times the troops. Mushash and reconquest of Wasit. Okay, they are actually. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Transoxiana. The Timurids has been going strong. I think they haven't been succeeding as well as they could. Aden, it's not Yemen. Uh, they probably could form uh, Yemen at this point. Or there might be a few... Yeah, there's a few provinces they... They need these three, basically. And, um... It seems like it's Mamluks that has taken them. Which means they can't form Yemen, and yeah. Otherwise, they probably would have. Most likely, they would have done that if they could. But, uh, since they are missing a bit... They can't, so... Uh, let's see... Right, I should... Probably... Hmm... I'm not sure what to do when it comes to the buildings. I should... I probably should invest in... The next level of forts. Yes, I should. It might seem stupid, it might, see, it might seem expensive, but trust me when I say our land will be very, very hard to take at this point. Just upgrading the forts, not adding any forts, just, just upgrading the forts we have will make it a lot harder to invade us. Which will, which will be very, very good. Will be very hand and useful when it comes to like rushing down the enemy a bit. Uh, how many? It's two more years, basically. Uh, 
how is it looking when it comes to force limit we have eight more available when in the force limit uh we lost that general that's fine Did I attack here? Now Savoy isn't going to join. So if, if we are going to attack Venice, um, oh, might be because of Savoy's ruler being cruel. Or is it this one? No, it's because Savoy's ruler is cruel, he won't join. And since... Yeah. Hmm. Now, um, I'm not sure which way to go um, or what to do, really. We have like three minutes left on the episode, but still, we do need to decide what to do. I do want to attack France, but I can't do that. I'm not strong enough to attack France. The Papal State for some reason thinks it's a good idea to be allied to France. Like, yeah, sure, for you, but not for me. Um... Venice, you can be as grumpy as you want with me. I don't care that you're irritated over claims. Uh, now... Alright, diplomatic reputation malice has gone away. Okay. Yes, please get me more uh, stability. It's... If you can... Like, those events where you get stability for money is so worth it. Now, we are going to tech up, so... With that done... We can almost take the next idea brip. Um, idea in the humanist idea group. And... Uh, yes, we should... We should embrace Tuscan this point to get that like extra stuff that it brings we probably should do Romagnol because it gives 20% as well like we have Lombard 28 Tuscan 20 Romagnol 20 I think the rest is not high enough that it Warrants like embracing. Unless I am going to take provinces from Venice. Because if I then take Venetian and it's an accepted culture, it cores fast, faster, so we might want to do it. Now, how how big is your navy? Okay, I'm not right, I'm not um navies Venice has 72 what you're 30 over your force limit wow okay well boats are quite cheap to be over the force limit but still going to have to build up a bit more Let's see if we have enough boats to build a flagship. Yes, we do. 
That's good. That's good. Now, when I build a flagship, what I want, when I look at what I want from a flagship is I want the absolute sturdiest ship that's possible, which means a heavy ship. There's more or less no no other things which is as durable and sturdy as a heavy ship because it has the most hull size and the most cannons it's very slow but still it's fine what i want from like what i want from a flagship is i want it to survive so that's why it's a heavy ship as i said uh, i have said before just recently and um, I then want to buff my whole fleet now there's not super many things that do just that like buff the fleet now the two most like fleet uh, buffing things is the fleet morale and the fleet movement speed uh, other than that there's not really that many like fleet blockade impact on siege yes but it's not that much anyway um it could be very good but depending on like how like if you're fighting a nation that doesn't have coast it's useless so i go i'm usually going with fleet morale uh, plus five which means all my boats have five percent more morale which means we fight better and we can stay in the fight longer fleet movement speed means we actually can catch that fight that we really want or run away from a fight we don't want uh, easier and fleet engagement with means we can have more boats in the fight at the same time which means we have a higher chance of winning now we are going to build this and we are going to end the episode here so thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one